JP Morosi joining me now. He's actually in Boston for the Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees game on MLB tonight. But uh, JP, I want to talk to you about the WBC. There's nobody on the planet that enjoys this more than you. What's the best part about this for you? Oh, Alana, th this is a, this is this smile here is six years in the making, my friend, because the WBC <laughs> is back watching that last out. David Robertson told me afterward that that was the happiest, saddest pitch he ever threw in his life. Happy because, of course, it was the first U.S. championship. Saddest because, as he told me, the experience had meant so much to him, and he knew that was going to be the only time that group of players ever had a chance to play baseball together. And that really speaks to, Alana, what you were just talking about, the passion that comes out of the players when they have their country on their jersey as opposed to their club. And, and you've seen it. The, the interviews that we get a chance to have with players, they talk about their family. They talk about their culture, why they play the game in a different way than any other time in their baseball careers. It's why the storytelling of this tournament is so rich. And again, as you point out, the U.S. with a title to defend. They won it for the first time in 2017. What can they do for an encore? It's going to begin, Alana, at Chase Field in Phoenix, where if I could take myself to this moment, I go back to the 2013 tournament. The U.S. played Mexico in Phoenix, of course, a great multicultural city. I think a majority of the fans at that game in 2013 were cheering for Mexico. There you see R.A. Dickey starting. Adrian Gonzalez had a key hit early on in the game. Mexico never trailed in this game. And I remember just the atmosphere that night thinking, oh, my gosh, this is what the WBC is all about. Now, Mexico almost met the U.S. in 2017, but they, of course, lost on the tiebreaker, weren't able to do that and play in San Diego. But now, nine years since that 2013 game, Alana, we'll see these teams back together in the same venue. And when you want to see a great game, a U.S.-Mexico <laughs> game close to the border, I cannot wait. Yeah, you mentioned Chase Field, and everyone loves the batter's eye hitting there at Chase Field. But Lone Depot Park, JP, is going to be hosting games in all three rounds. Why does it make sense to do it there? Alana, I can barely hear you speaking today because my ears still are ringing from six years ago <laughs> and the experience of covering games at Lone Depot Park. You see it here, the U.S. Dominican game, of course, the great Dominican comeback that the Nelson Cruz hit the home run. That was like 10 feet off the ground. It got out of there. And this game, I still say this, the Dominican-Columbia game was one of the under-the-radar greatest baseball games I have ever seen. Jose Bautista throw from left field to keep that game tied in extra innings. So for me, we talk about Phoenix, what a great multicultural destination. Miami, Alana, all the countries and cultures represented there. I still go back to how many fans we saw there from Colombia and Colombian fans that represented in the ballpark, the Dominican fans. I, I, I mean this sincerely. My ears were ringing in the very best way <laughs> from the time the game ended at night until the time it was time to go back to the ballpark the next day. The horns, the music, the passion of the fans, incredible. I had to have two different earphones in my ear to be able to hear our producer, Chris Pfeiffer, during the course of that game because of how loud it was there. Uh, I just, I cannot wait, Alana, to see WBC games back there. Of course, Puerto Rico, the Dominican, it's going to be a great atmosphere there at Lone Depot Park. Yeah, it's absolutely electric, these WBC games. The interviews, as you mentioned, are different. The players are a lot more emotional. And, of course, the United States is a melting pot. So you see a lot of guys that play for major league clubs playing for different countries. You saw Adrian Gonzalez playing for Mexico. You know, you and I are Italian, and Italy starts this year, JP, uh, on the Asian tour first. What do you think the team's outlook is in terms of that? Alana, I think this is a very favorable draw for Italy. And Mike Piazza, the manager of the Italian national team, <laughs> Iazzurri. They've got a good opportunity now with Mike Piazza as the skipper to get through out of the, the, the group uh, in, in Asia to then potentially move all the way back to the semifinals there in Miami. Of course, Mike Piazza with a lot of connections there to Florida as well. You think about last time around, 2017, a young Brandon Nimmo was on Team Italy. A young Jordan Romano, now the closer for the Blue Jays, was on that team. When you think about the players of Italian descent who could play, I think about a young Anthony Volpe playing shortstop in the Yankees farm system. You go back to that 2013 team for Italy that had Anthony Rizzo on it as a young player just coming in. So maybe Volpe steps in as a shortstop on that club. You think about also the potential, and we'll see, uh, is Aaron Nola asked to play 
for Italy or the U.S. He could play for Italy potentially. Lucas Giolito could be in the mix for Italy as well. So a lot of really interesting Italian-American players that could play for that roster along with all the, the native Italians who grew up and play the game in Italy. And Mike Piazza, Alana, as we know, the Hall of Famer, has been living with his family a lot of time in Italy in recent years. He has taken a real leadership role with the Italian with the Italian national team. So it's going to be a lot of fun, Alana, whether it's Italy, the Netherlands, any country around the world to play baseball. <laughs> and we're expanding the field with, with qualifiers coming up in both Germany and Panama to round out a 20-team field. I'll, ha I'll have my plan coming up, Alana, for the Dominican infield. Where does Devers play? <laughs> Where does Wander Franco play? Where does Tatis play? Machado, Jose Ramirez. I'll be thinking about that for a while. I'll get back to you with our next conversation, okay?